Hello everyone, my name is Uthers, and welcome back to another episode of Timberborn. Through the power of irrigation and building water reservoirs, we have survived the uh, drought that just came up at the end of the last episode. Um, very smoothly, actually. So we are in a great position to start cycle number five, um, which is basically year five, right? Um, this drought lasted five and a half days. So we know that this much water is going to last five and a half days. And then if we essentially double it, it's going to last 12 days, maybe, you know, of water through here. And the same thing with this side. This will just extend it even further um, in terms of water reservation, which will be great for us. Um, I think long term, what I would like to try and do is somehow. Oh, we're at seven happiness. Awesome. Between episodes, um, our bakery came online and that enables our potatoes to be processed down into a new food item, which dramatically increases our food production now that we are using every single square. Um, since the drought is over, ooh, look at that. It, could we have timed that any better, I don't think. So you can see, let's get some irrigation towers on completely now. Uh, the drought ended right when we lost access to water. So yeah, yeah, that's uh, we're honestly kind of lucky there, in my opinion, in, in terms of that. So we'll get the pumps back online. The other three lower pumps are online and standing by. The upper loft area here of, wait, did I design this wrong? I think I designed this wrong. Please hold. Let's uh, let's get rid of this building. Let's go this blocking. Blocking our stuff. Get a path there. There we go. Good. And instead, we can just make a small narrow house. Here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, water-wise, we are a little short on water, but now that the lower reservoir is starting to fill up, um, we'll be better off on water since we're getting, essentially we're doubling our pumps at this stage, which is pretty good. Um, tree growth is all right at the moment. Definitely going okay. And so far, the village is looking rather nice for, you know, beaver construction. It is very successful right now. Sure, we did lose a fair amount, but also we just kind of doubled our population. Um, we have four unemployed beavers at the very moment. Which is okay, um, honestly. Yeah, four full worker beavers going. We're going to be dumping logs down here for the next um, for the next dry season. Uh, beavers are on the upper area successfully. It's going to be high priority here. And we have that lumber mill is on technically. What can't I get to? Is there something facing the wrong way? Or is that just a bug? Oh, it's this. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's that lower area. There we go. Awesome. Very successful. So what we'll do is we could potentially make a platform right here. Because I kind of want to put a third floor on this eventually on this side. I think that would be pretty good. Um, 
Yeah, I think that would be pretty good for us. Is there any good leisure activity? We can unlock a temple. A beaver temple. Place that down next to the warehouse, maybe? Or tucked back in here? We got a beaver temple going up and then at that point we just need the carousel which is a fun item it's a 400 horsepower though so it's gonna be a while until we get a carousel I think I don't think we're gonna rush rush building that one I wonder if I can build my whole town on this center curve I might have a lower district, keep this lower district, its own kind of Beaverton, and then up here, um, Beaverton Upper, Upper Beaverton. That could be nice. We would have to branch out to um, some farming communities, I think, for food. Because up here, we just won't have the space and the irrigation to, to make food. So I'd be shipping that in, most likely. From what I foresee. And we'll also need to get some extra branches. If I could dam up here. I wonder if I could turn this into a big lake. Like increase the water up to this level two. All the way around. Ooh, it would be interesting if I could. I think all it would take is instead of building a dam here, we build a um, a actual levee. Because if we build a levee across here, block this off completely. This will just continually fill up until it breaks this. And then it'll spill down into here and stuff. So I wonder if I should build the levee actually on this side. But if I do that, I kind of lose these pumping stations, which is actually okay. I would have to build a three tall levee across this. Hmm. How expensive are levees? 12 logs each. They're actually cheaper than dams. Kind of interesting, but they're cheaper. But if we build that, all the water will still flow down into here, just fine. And then the water level will, <laughs> will rise to that point. And that basically solves the water issue completely, like permanently. Like that's so much water in like up in here to try and drain from. Hmm. We'll be flooding down here. Let's, um... Let's test that a little bit. We'll do that. Build a... 
large dam. We'll put a dam on top of it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's get some pathing sorted out here for long term. Um, let's get rid of these crop areas there. Let's get the path. Ah, that'll clear itself up. No, I'm not overly worried about that right now. Not overly worried about that. In fact, that's going to be super low priority. We're gonna we're gonna make that zero priority. That is just not important to us, like at all. rather be working on like our temple um, the warehouses for for more storage and just generally other items at the moment we just don't have a crazy amount of timber right now for that other mill up and running we'll enable the rest of these gatherers out here again Consider expanding the tree farm. Outwards. I'm hesitant to build anything on this side of the river because that's going to change dramatically uh, once we dam that up. So it might be worth me investing something up here eventually Did this increase my building range at all not really it doesn't really help me construction site is too far from builders build more paths or a new district and for us to dam this side up, we might have to build, well actually shoot, if we, if we have a levee here, then we don't need to build a dam here, right? We just won't need to. Hey, the river actually finally got to height to finish. Oh, now it's below height. Hmm. Maybe that would be a downside of filling this all up with water. Not sure. We would put a... Have to move these three somewhere if we were to do that too. What are we doing on planks and stuff? I don't think I have any buildings that require gears yet. Um, gears would, well actually we, we have the one water item. So that does require gears. Um, We 
research shrub and things like that. Put some shrubs around. And some benches. Good. Nice. New set of maple trees coming in. That'll hopefully replenish a lot of our timber supplies. Ooh, we actually might be getting a bunch of maple trees about to pop. Very good. We're harvesting a bunch of potatoes right now. Which will make into some good food. We are still increasing water. We are just short on logs. Very, very short on logs. It might become one of those things where I'm going to have to do um, a good bit of building between episodes just to get us to an interesting point in the series. Um, where we're actually progressing a little bit because it's just kind of becoming those one of those moments where it's, it's kind of a time thing at this point. Yeah. Us breaking that open makes a nice little extra reservoir. Okay, those barrels are getting full of water. We have so many beavers running around, like Jesus. We're up to a population of 56 beavers, which is pretty good for the low district. You have to cram in a couple more buildings out here. I think. Or we can expand the farmland out there. Whichever would work. I mean, when we increase the water level, this will become irrigated. Just naturally. But that's gonna be a while. We're gonna let things build, as I said, and uh, kind of get back up to speed where it needs to be, and um, we'll get we'll come back next episode. All these potential buildings that we've laid out here um, are going to be finished and operational. Um, we'll be past our next drought, which will be fine, and our beavers will be doing good, doing really good for beavers out here in this little little center area. Very lovely. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying this series, feel free to subscribe for more creative goodness such as this. Uh, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and Beaverton is about to get a facelift.